Now that we can log in, we can let a user write a blog and we can save it while letting it be associated with their account. So now what we want to do is create an admin controller to separate our concerns here. We currently have a home controller, but we want to be able to separate out the home with the admin. All right, so in our controller, we'll add new controller. We want the MVC controller. It'll be empty. Go ahead, add, and let's call it admin controller. All right, now that we have this admin controller, we also want to create a admin folder inside of our views so it knows where to grab the views from. Add, new folder, admin. In addition to that, we're also going to create an index view. The theme that we chose for our blog it doesn't quite match what we might want for our admin pages, so we're going to need a new layout, and that will probably come with new CSS files and JavaScript files and the like. So, so I searched online and I found a free theme called SB Admin, and just to give you a show of what it looks like, it's right here. Um, uh, a lot of this we won't actually need to use, but it gives us kind of a different layout for our administration page. That's what I downloaded. Feel free to download something else. It's up to you. If you go into your dist folder, so the CSS file, it's called styles.css. It's fine if we copy straight in because this one's called styles, that one's called site, that's fine. Okay, uh, JavaScript, it's called scripts. Okay, so we can just copy that in there. Okay, For assets, we'll just grab this whole folder and pull it in. So we'll grab our index. We'll open it up in our text editor. And we're gonna have to do a similar thing that we did with the home controller, which is we're gonna have to create a layout. And uh, we'll create some components here. Grab this whole thing, copy. We'll come back in here to our views. We will create a add a view, add layout. Paste the entire thing in there. Okay, so for our top nav, the folder we'll call it admin top nav. Create a view, add default. and to here okay here we say await component dot um, something async invoke async and pass in it's called admin top nav Okay, so uh, the next thing we need to pull out as a component is this side nav here. So let's go ahead and create that. So down here, we'll create, add a folder called admin side nav, add view, default. Sign nav paste in there. Okay. And then similar to this. Sign nav. 
So from here, we want to pull this out. This is where we do that render body. Okay. And then this will also be a component. So we'll say add folder and then footer. View. Let's paste that in here. So it's admin footer. Perfect. So like we did in the first layout, we need to direct it to the proper location. So tilde forward slash. And we'll need this for our JavaScript or assets. Okay need to come up here into our view components and we need to create a new class for each one of those so we'll need admin top nav view component okay and similar to this it's all going to be the same here so take that Our usings. Okay. We'll also need admin side nav view component. Finally, we'll need admin footer view component. So now if we run this and then we go to slash admin, we are greeted with our admin layout. Perhaps instead of coming here we would like to go to our admin page instead and then from our admin page we'll be able to come to here so let's do that. We'll change this to redirect to our admin. Okay so that would be in our uh, shared login partial and instead of coming to account manage index, we'll want to do ASP con controller equals admin ASP action index. And then change that, get rid of that title too, because we are not managing our. Okay, so refresh. Click on it, we're brought to our admin page. Perfect. Okay, so from our admin page, actually, let me back up real quick. I'm going to copy this. And then go forward. Now in our admin page, We'll use this settings 
to manage our account here okay so that is in our top nav we want to look at components admin top nav and then our settings will do this let's try that out perfect okay so where we copied all of this over and eventually we moved it let's grab everything from this main down okay then go into our admin index and paste it in there save it refresh Okay, so now we got some content, temporary. Okay, so for now, let's get rid of everything over here, except for dashboard. We'll get rid of these, we don't need them. Can change that to be our user activity log. We can get rid of that. So let's start with this stuff. Hop on over here, go to shared components, admin, side nav so there's that core we don't want that we have our dashboard we don't want anything below it okay so here similar to how we in our login partial how we have this inject grab this inject come over here we'll inject it in here we'll also need this okay and then we'll say also similar to how we did this we'll say grab this Paste in there, and we can do oh, um, what's that? Right, we're logged in as Daniel. We got rid of all this stuff. Dashboard, come to the dashboard, which will be here. ASP controller, admin, ASP action, index. Okay. Quick blog, we'll change that inside of our top nav bootstrap I'm renaming this to admin okay. all right we also we wanted to get rid of this activity log Ooh, and then we have our log out okay so log out will be Right, just copy that for our logout, and this will be drop down item. Okay. Okay. Logout. Okay, cool. 